Hello everyone. Today, we will be demonstrating the steps to scrape multiple pages with the WP Automatic plugin. Now open your WP Automatic plugins dashboard. Click on the new campaign option. You will see the following options on the screen. Today we will be scraping multiple pages of GSM Arena now, at the title of the campaign. You can write anything. As an example, We are writing GSM Arena multi-page. Now make sure that your campaign type is selected as multi-page scraper now in the URL of the post item, you need to provide the source URL for scraping. As an example, we are adding the URL of GSM Arena. The next step is to select the components that need to be scrapped. Choose the method of extraction with this drop-down we are selecting Visual Selector. It will allow us to choose the component with a mouse click. Now, click on the Find option to open the interface for component selection. For example, we want to scrape this section. So on a click, the container is automatically added for extraction. Similarly, set the settings for scraping the next pages. For example, we are selecting the data available after clicking this section. Now for the next page, we will be selecting the items that need to be auto-posted on the page. Choose the options accordingly. Scroll down to get more options for controlling the data extraction and posting. You can change the layout of the post here by using simple tags. Scroll down further for more information. Scroll up. Set the frequency of auto posting activity. Publish your campaign. And you will be able to see your published campaign here. Remember, your campaign type can't be changed. Now click here to run the campaign. You can automate this activity as well. After running, you will get the URL of the last post that was published by this plugin. Let's check the results after clicking it, you will be able to open the last post. Then let's compare it with the original post see here. It is the same. Now let's run the campaign again to auto post the next post. Click on the run icon. And then the URL of the last post. Compare it with the original post. Voila! It is the same. So that's it for this video.